Dear friends, so we are continuing genetics. Already we completed part one. Now we are going to part two. Before starting this, I am wishing to give some of the idea regarding multiple alleles or codominant. Now I am using a whiteboard and depending on that I am giving you some explanation. Sit back. Now, what are multiple alleles or codominants? Multiple alleles, in case of this, <coughs> we are studying the human blood group. And a broader idea I am giving it to you. First, we will see what are multiple alleles. Here, in case of this, three or more than three, three or more than three alleles found on a particular locus of homologous chromosome, then we are calling it as a multiple alley. Here, locus is nothing but a particular place. A pair of homologous chromosomes, they are having a particular place. On that, three or more than three alleles or genes must be present. Then we are calling them as the multiple alleles. Okay? Again, I am defining three or more than three alleles are found on a particular locus of homologous chromosome. Then we are calling them as multiple alleles. So here, when you are studying regarding the human blood group, there are three blood groups you people are observing. Those are A, B and O. Three types of blood groups you people can see. And blood group when we are taking, that time again we are adding one more group, we are calling it as AB. So, the basic things are A, B and O. You are knowing the erythrocytes are RBCs. The RBCs are having a plasma membrane outside. And this plasma membrane is containing a sugar polymers. And these sugar polymers always try to protrude out from the surface. A kind of sugar is identified by the gene I. So here for a blood group, we are considering I as a gene, capital I. It is a gene for blood group. Now here, human beings when you are taking each human being is containing two genes out of three. A, B and O. These are three types of alleles. And out of these three, two types of alleles are found in each human, human being. Now here, just see, I, I, we are indicating it for the gene. And here I am writing it as I A, I B, 
and small r. So here I am indicating a group as i k, b group as b i p, o group as small i. Now see i k and i b. They are having sugar. They are slight different. In the sense, slight different sugars are present in I A and I B. But when we are taking small I, it is not having any sugar. So small I is not having any sugar because of that. We are considering capital I as the dominant one. And small i as the recessive one. So capital I is dominant and small i is recessive. So see, now what I said, any human body if you are taking, they are containing two genes or two alleles. Now here, i a and I, if you are taking, I A is having a sugar polymer or a sugar. I small I is not having any sugar, so the blood group becomes A. I A I the blood group becomes A. This is the heterozygous condition. And if suppose you are observing homozygous condition. Here, I A and I P, they are making a blood group A. Now, coming to B, here I B, I B, homozygous condition in case of blood group B, and heterozygous if we are taking I B and small I. It will become blood group B. Now see, we are coming to AB. AB here in case of this, both are sugar. Both sugars are present. So as a result, small I is not representing that. So here, I A and I B. It is making blood group AB. Now, finally, if suppose small i and small i, if it is, then we are considering blood group as O. O blood group is considered as universal donor. Blood group O. Is a universal donor, and AB is considered as universal recipient. In the sense, it can receive blood from any group, and O can donate blood group uh, to any group. So, in this way, universal recipient and universal donor, you people are observing. Now here, from the examination point of view, some of the problems they are asking to find out the blood groups, and there you should remember this combination. And if suppose A, B, A, B, and O, this combination, if you are knowing, then he can solve any kind of problems. Say for example, here. I will take one a small trick and one problem. I will solve it and show it to you how to solve such a type of blood group problems. Now, by this, your ancestors, whoever it is, you can find their blood group depending on you and your family. And in future, whatever you want to find it out, depending on the blood group, you can find the blood groups of the four children also. So, in this way, you people are observing the problem solving. Now, one problem I will solve and show it to you, then it will become very easy for you to understand.
Now, just by me raise Now see, I am erasing this also. Okay now. Say for example, father is having a blood group A and mother is having a blood group AB. We will see. Father is having blood group A. Just a minute. Father is having A blood group and I am considering him as male. And female mother is having blood group AB. Now the, you have to see what you want to do, you have to find out the uh, blood groups of their children. For that purpose, the possible blood groups you have to find it out. So for that purpose, you have to select always heterozygous nature of alleles. Okay? So here, heterozygous nature in blood group A is I, A and I. And A, B is having I A I B. So it is always heterozygous, and here also you are taken heterozygous. Now the gametes are formed. Now see here two types of gametes are produced that is capital I A and small i. Now in case of this, again. Two of the gametes are produced I A and I B. Now see, in a class, what are possible uh, things you people are getting? That is I A and I A. So first one is I A, I A. Now, second one you can take I A I B. Now, next I and I A. So, I A and I. Then the last one here you see that is I B and I. Now correlate the genes with the blood group. I A I A is indicating blood group A. I A I B it is indicating A B. Now I A I because dominant character small i is a recessive character so here the blood group will be A. Here again the same blood group will be B. So possible blood groups are A, AB, A and B. So if suppose the father is of A group mother is of AB group, then their children possibilities are A, AB, A and B. Such a type of combinations you people are getting. Now, what we will do, if you want, I will solve one more uh, problem, then it will become very easy for you people. Which one you want to take, you select. And here, one of my colleagues here, I will I am asking
asking him what kind of groups I have to take. Depending on that, I am calculating and I am showing you. Okay. So, sir, yes, sir, you tell me. What is your blood group, sir? O positive. O. So, O, just a minute. Okay. Sir is white. O blood group. Okay, so I am marking here as me. Sir, you are white? Same. She is also O. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir is having a wife. She is having a blood group O. So in the sense O and O we are considering. O in the sense small i and small i you are taking because it is homozygous in nature. So as a result, it has to produce a gamut. As it is homozygous nature, it is producing only one gamut, small i. And here also, only one gamut is produced, small i. Then, in combination, when you people are observing, it is small i and small i. So, possible blood group is only O. None other than O, other blood groups they are getting. O, it is very clear. So, another example you can take. If suppose A is crossed with B. If A is crossed with B, then just see the possible genotypes. Here, I A and I. Here I B and I. Now see the gametes I A I and here I B I. So now see the combination. How it is happening? First one, I A, I B, next, I A, I, next, I B, I, next one is, I and I. So, possible blood groups you see, this is A B, this is A, this is B and this is O. So, if blood group A is crossed with blood group B, male is crossed with female, then four all blood groups are seen here. This is the possibility. Hope you understood regarding multiple alleles. Now what we will do? We will go through the questions and whatever is possible there itself will continue.